the Bristol Hercules engine. It's Canada's answer to monster trucks. And then I put them back in. That's how you start Yeah. Out of 100 bomber crews that started out today, steel bridge to the Sherman Tank. I'm surprised that this after war, after 1945, the British was in the war, the Southern that all the Halifax is a story we can break in the sky. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and uh, you've heard the music of the Merlins. Now you're going to hear the rock and roll of the Bristol Hercules engine. This engine was powered, powered the Halifax bomber, 300 of the Lancaster bombers, and all of the Sterling bombers and the Wellington bombers. It is uh, a 14-cylinder engine. 2300 cubic inches and it puts out at takeoff power 1650 horsepower we're only gonna I want you guys to pay attention here we're only gonna run this engine at half throttle so whatever you hear today is the loudest that you hear then you acknowledge holy smokes that's only half power so that's what we'll run it up today. There are two bombers that are the premier bombers in Bomber Command. You've heard the Lancaster run. 70% of all bomber combat done by Canadians was done in the Halifax. This is our first engine for our Halifax bomber project that we're putting together here. We have found, we have already collected 30% of a Halifax bomber including seven engines to make four runners. This is our first running engine. We've got two brand new Bristol Hercules engines in the hangar there. So we've got, we're like, my hero is Johnny Cash, because we're doing it one piece at a time. But we're doing it. Now I'm leaving in two weeks. We found a Halifax bomber of the Royal Canadian Air Force off of, uh, the coast of Sweden. We're gonna be lifting up the Halifax and bringing it here so we can piece together a Halifax as the tribute. The one-two punch of Bomber Command is Lank and Halifax.
15 seconds prime. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs>